Hello everyone, welcome to another iPhone interview. Today we are joined by Puli Arif. He has his fight in, I believe it's three days from now. He had a three day camp and we're going to interview him about, we're going to interview him about it. So Puli, how has your camp been? My camp has been good. I haven't done anything. I've done probably two sessions. Hmm. I probably might do another one later tonight. What time is it? Yeah, I might get one in later tonight or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, there's not much I can do in six days, fucking hell. But um, yeah, I've just been making sure I'm eating well, um, resting, and yeah, just hoping that fucking fight night goes to my plans. Yeah, and of course we haven't seen you in a while, so my question about that was, what have you been doing since your last fight on Misfits? I've been playing football. Mm. I've been focusing on my football, really. Um I've trained a couple of times here and there, but nothing too serious. But yeah, I've been concentrating on football. Um, I was going to quit boxing actually after my last fight because mm. I don't know. It just I, I just didn't feel right doing it. I don't know why. Like I just I was in the right headspace. I wasn't quit boxing then. I thought I can't quit. And then so I'm back. I know my football season's finished now. So after this fight, no matter how it goes, I'm going to get training three, four times a week until I've got another fight coming up. Go back into camp. And my next fight, my next fight after this one, it, it's going to be different. Like, I'm going to be so different to compare to all my other fights. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, of course. And, um, yeah, so you are finally back. And my question to you about is you had around six to seven days of preparation for this fight. How, is it, how has it been, you know, getting to the weight that was agreed upon? I was already on weight. I'm I'm okay. like a little bit under, but I can I can you're allowed to be under. So I'm just trying to I'm just trying to eat well this week, trying to like eat as much as I can and I'm trying to get as um close to the weight as I can go. I'll probably be about one or two pounds off of the weight, under the weight, which it's not too not too thing. Or I'll just be I'll be dead on weight, but I'm on weight. So like I'm I, I naturally float about around the weight that I'm fighting at, which is one thirty five anyway. Of course, and with this fight, uh, of course, you're fighting Ar Argentinian King. He has been training for a long as well. He, he has been waiting for this opportunity. How confident are you in your skill set in beating him? I'm always confident. I'm, I was conf I'm confident in any fight I go into, really. Um, I wasn't as confident. I was more confident going to my Dean fight than my J fight because with my J fight, I had a lot going on. Now. I didn't take camp seriously. I was... I was missing days. I was, I was doing sh stuff I shouldn't have been doing during camp. Um, so I was, yeah, like I wasn't that confident. But this fight, I'm not like I'm, I'm, I'm not confident, or I'm not not confident. I'm just going in there, and whatever happens, happens. If I fucking, if I land a lucky shot and knock him out, I land a lucky, lucky shot and knock him out. If fucking hell, like I, I've took the fight on six days. No, I haven't been training. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna be fine on misfits again, and. I just hope it goes my way. Hopefully, God's on my side come Saturday night. Of course. And what's the strategy for this fight? Are we trying to rush in and get the KO as soon as possible? Or are we just trying there, you know, get, winning on points and surviving the fight? Fucking just whatever, whatever, whatever happened. Like, I've got a game plan in it. So I don't know. I don't know if his interviews going to be out before the fight. So it probably will be. So we have a game plan, me and my coach um so hopefully i stick to the game plan and hopefully it works yeah and um i've been seeing you chilling a lot with um the side of uh, foxy g you know their camp uh, uh, coach Sol and them how has it been you know training with them hanging out with them you know overall interactions with them yeah well I'm not, i've i've been doing that for my last few fights and they're from my area i see them sometimes um, Coach Scholl's in my corner, his corner with me for this fight. Um, with Fox as well, Fox will be in my corner. Um, so yeah, it's nice chilling with them. They're they're nice people to chill with outside of boxing, and they're very serious when it comes to boxing. And they're good people to be around. Um, in the boxing scene, you know what I mean. But like outside of boxing, they're nice, nice to have as friends, and uh, I get on well with them. Yeah. And of course, you started boxing uh, on Misfits earlier than Fox G. So, Mike, this is a very controversial question, of course. And um, I was wondering if you think um, you should be ha ranked higher than Fox G on the Misfits lightweight uh, uh, rankings. 
No. No. Oh, so he should be ranked. He, he should be ranked higher than me. Okay. So that makes sense. So he, I've lost twice on this. He's won twice on this. Why would he? Why would I be ranked higher than him? No, I was just wondering who you believe the better boxer is in overall. Oh, um, Fox. Right now, Fox is a better boxer than me. Yes, one hundred percent. Fox and puts in much more work than me. Fox is more dedicated to this than I am. And I want to be as dedicated as Fox is to this. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I've just been concentrating on other things, like football, for example. I know it's not an excuse um, if because I, I should be dedicated to this because this could change my life. So now, after this fight, I'm serious. Like, this boxing is going to be my life. Like, I want to be training every single day, doing something, whether it's a 5K one run, a 3K run, whether I'm sparring, whether I'm doing strength and conditioning, I'll be doing some sort of improving in my boxing every single day after this fight yeah and how has training with coach Saul been i mean i haven't had that much time with him I've, I've, i mean I've, I've done a few sessions with him mm -hmm. before this fight anyway with fox Bard fox done a few sessions with him and he's a good coach i done a session with him the other day me him and fox and i'll probably do one with him before fight night um but yeah i'll get on well with him easily um it's sometimes a bit difficult because me and fox just we we don't take it as serious as we should, but I think that's because we see each other more as friends than as like as like we were actually working together and we're trying to improve in our boxing skills. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is good working with him and I enjoy working with him a lot. Of course. And um yeah, my question my next question was about um your mindset going through this fight. How have you been, you know, mentally preparing for this fight? You know, you had one week uh, notice, how are you, you know? getting into the boxing rhythm again in your in, you know in your physical and in your mental mind i mean i've just started like i've i eat well usually anyway like i'm 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 a i'm a quite a good eater sometimes i'll have a cheat meal here and there but i'm making sure i'm, eat, I'm eating well i'm basically just telling doing everything that my that soul tells me to do whether i can eat whether i can how much water i'm drinking and just i'm just prepared like i'm not really need to prepare because it's happening so fast like I went into the media thing today and people were like like interviewing me like, wait, are you fighting? You are fighting, ain't you? Like just, no one even knows. And I didn't even do my media workout today because I had to shoot off and go do my medical. Mm. So I didn't even get to do my media workout today. So like no one could actually see no one actually saw me in the rings. But I'll be at a press conference tomorrow and then I'll be at the weigh-in on Friday and then yeah, fight night. Yeah, and is there any you know, bad blood between you and Argentinian King, or is it all just business? Yeah, just business. There's no bad blood. I don't really, it hasn't been like, I've only known I'm fighting him five days ago, so there's nothing, no bad blood there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there'll probably be a bit of trash talk tomorrow on, on Twitter and stuff, but that's just normal. But yeah, there's no bad blood. I don't hate the kid. I just, I don't know the kid. Yeah. And what's the future looking for you, our misfits? Hmm. Right now, it's not looking very bright, is it? Fucking hell. But, um... <laughs> oh, man, nah, you, you gotta believe yourself more, come on. <laughs> nah, um... It, it depends. That's, that depends on me. It depends on my mindset. It depends on how hard I want to work. It depends how hard I want to get back to the top. Mm -hmm. Not that I was at the top, but, like, I, I fought Dean, you know what I mean? It depends how hard I want to work and push for it. That's all on me. I can't control any of that. Now, I'm the only one who can control all of that, sorry. yeah. yeah. Of course, and who would you like to fight next? Um, that's a better question. Who would you I like want the J fight? rematch. That's the fight. That's the fight I want the most. J rematch. Yeah, that's the fight I want the most out of every any fight. I want the J rematch, and then we go from there. And why? Why is that the fight that you would want to have the most? Because I I didn't fight how I can fight when I fought him. Like I didn't train. I didn't. I was going through a lot. I didn't. I didn't train. I didn't fight how I. I spar. I didn't fight how I can fight. I was just, I, I just, I don't know. Watching it back, I, I'm. It's just like it wasn't even me in that ring. Mm. Um, you know what I mean. So I just want that rematch, and I will get that rematch. I'll push for that rematch, and I'll eventually get that rematch. Okay. And how has your relation been with Jay? Have you been speaking to him since the fight? Um, have you guys been? Mm, no. Nah, if I see him, I'll just say hello. That's it. But he knows that I want the rematch. I, I told him after the fight, I've said it to him in DMs that I want the rematch. Um, so he knows I want the rematch. But I think he's pushing for the baby Hulk fight, which is fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, but what down the line, I will come across him again and we will have a rematch. 
Yeah, and if not Jay, who else do you have in your vision? Uh, Eagle Hero, Most Wanted, uh, APAP, IPAP. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know who else. yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I get it. There aren't that, there aren't that many uh, lightweights, anyways. And uh, no, there's a lot, but all of them are in the tournament, yeah, ain't exactly, it? exactly. And uh, my question to you is: Who do you think is going to be the winner of the lightweight tournament? Uh, hopefully, me. Fucking hell. But if it's not me, I reckon Joey Knight. You reckon you join Knight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's good. How about Willie? I think Joey Knight beats Willie's. And how have you been rating Joey Knight's boxing skill? Have, how have you been watching him uh, from the shadows? Yeah, I've been watching him. I got offered to fight him in January. You did. Yeah, but I was firstly I was injured. And secondly, I just wasn't prepared already when I got offered a fight. It was like four, five, four, it was like four weeks before. And like I watched a few videos of him and I was like, fucking hell, I'm going to need a whole eight to 12 week camp if I want to fight this guy. He's good. Um, and I was injured. I've had, a, I've had a shoulder injury for the last few months, like quite bad. I don't even want to go into detail about it and use that as an excuse. But yeah, I've had a shoulder injury. I'm, I'm all right now. Okay. I hope so. Um, but yeah. I think Joey Knight will win it. Okay. And um, between Joey Knight and Dean the Great, who do you think will win that fight? I don't know, because Joey's just going to keep improving by the time he gets to Dean. I think... I think Dean... But I think Joey gives him a tough, tough night. Mm. Yeah. And what's your prediction for the fights? Rounds one, two, three, four, five. For who? I don't know. For anyone. I mean, for Dean, because you think Dean's going to win. So, no, nah, I reckon on points. On points? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so I want to thank you for doing this interview, uh, Puli. Um, I wish you good luck on your match. Do you have any last message uh, towards your opponent or maybe uh, the viewers watching this? Fuck you, Argentinian King. And fuck Argentina. And thank you to everyone who's supporting me um, on such late notice. I really appreciate it. Love you all. All right, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.